on a mission to educate people. And we're providing low-cost computing for the world. We build products that we want to use and we want our kids to use. And we run a competition for kids to write code that runs on the space station, which is pretty fun and I think uh, has had a lot of good uh, engagement with, with schools across the globe. There's some really nice nice features on the Pico and on the RP2040 which kind of cross that boundary between software and hardware. So it's a, a nice way to kind of get people who are interested in software, interested in hardware and vice versa. Making the chip, it didn't even occur to me how many different applications this thing could go into. Um, the flexibility, we've got this programmable I.O. block in there, which basically means you can connect to any interface you like, so it makes it very flexible. We use Cadence tools throughout our design verification implementation flow, so through from RTL verification to generating a GDS to verifying, validating it um, and sending it out to the foundry. So we are 100% Cadence based. We use Cadence PCB tools to design the electronics products and we use the Cadence chip design tools to design our silicon. We use Exilium to do verification, we do synthesis through Genus, we do place and boot with Innovus, STA sign off with Tempus and Qantas for, for extraction, uh, so we, we, the whole shebang really. The other thing that I really value uh, with Cadence is that we've got a very good working relationship with the, the team in the UK. And as we move forward into more exciting and challenging technologies, having that support is important. We keep the cost as low as we can because of the educational mission, because of who we are and what we believe in.